I've made another error. Welcome to Spenny. Welcome in, uh, episode 3 of Spenny. I'm going to say right now, if you do enjoy this series, please do hit the subscribe and notification button now, because you never know, this might be the final episode. We go into this and we play um, 19th placed Bradford Park Avenue, who suddenly started getting results. They're firing up the table, their goal difference is going up. Um, they're in the minus right now. We have an E manager rating with the board, which is something I've never seen at Spenny in my time on FM, on Twitch. We're in trouble. We're going game by game right now because it feels like um, if we don't start turning this ship around, we are going to be in trouble. So we've made one signing. Uh, we've brought in a guy called Eddie Brown. It's not great, but he's not on any wages. So he's a breakthrough... Uh, prospect just needs something in our body something different i don't know maybe he can save us i'm not convinced um we're overspending our budget so the board aren't happy with that obviously this would have been a this should have been a winnable game um the mistake i've made dale is on international duty again so flatters who I have started affectionately calling Flappers is in goal. The young goalie, not very good. If we don't get a result here, I think we are actually sunk. We'll put Thompson on the bench. So I've, I've gone back to something. I've tried to simplify it. We've gone positive for this game because uh, I think I've tried to simplify the tactic with the rules back to box-to-box -box midfielder and semi midfield support in front of a defensive uh, midfielder support. I'll actually put um, the RAM back to be our, our, our main um, our main playmaker. It's actually torture. I'm really upset how this save is going. You know, with the likes of Preston and Glenn Taylor, you would fancy us to do some damage barely because he's a good player for most of the national league sides i don't know what what we're why we're not scoring 84 shots 47 shots on target only 56 percent we've only won four matches in 17 he's only got seven goals i'm not sure why we're not getting more from taylor I mean, i'm really not sure Honestly, I'm just I'm just throwing things at the wall. This could be a very short episode. Let's see how we get on. Make a difference. Make a difference. Make a bloody difference. We need we need that. We need to start coming back in our own here. I assume we're still on key. We are. I remember, we we won our our second game of the season. I feel so long ago. We've we have, we've been starved for wins. We've been starved for positive results. Draws. Too many losses. I mean, we still haven't lost that many. That's the the sick thing is we just whenever we've been in a good position, that's offside. I'm I'm getting better at spotting them people. It's too good to be true. An early chance, they open up. We think we're in behind. The door slams in our face. I had a look at our XG and XG and points. Uh, predicted we should be 5th or 17th based on XG we are battering teams and still losing we're creating chances and we're not taking them Taylor heads over from the corner it's stuff like that I, I don't know I honestly don't know what's wrong with Taylor and why we can't get more from him we are playing well we still look quite tired Mullen is quite tired 
Mullen. Taylor heads it wide again. 12 shots, 6 on target. I think we've got, we're going to have to add work ball in box and it, it simply, we are not, we're, we're not in the target. Now, and I know a lot of those missed opportunities were probably from crosses, but I'm running out of ideas. Happy with the number of chances we're creating, but we need to take one. It's a strange position we're in right now because the team looks like we're playing well in this game. Maybe we need to, what's going on here? Mullen. I'd like him to put one in top bins. <sighs> Sends it over. We'll encourage the team. We're going to have to start uh, being more active with the shouts. Mullen again. Similar position from the last free kick. Has he got his eye in now? He does. He gets on target. Saltmer manages to flick it over. Gets good hands to it. I don't like how they're more in this... Um, this half than they were the last. Ethan puts it back to Lefudu. If you can hear rumbling, it'll be Murphy under the desk. He's asleep. Mulhern oh, hits it just over the bar. I'm going to take on Brad Abbott because we need something from midfield. Preston's not having a good game. We'll move to Scott McLean. Abbott, what can he play as? Mullen hits the bar again. Good for him as a Mazala. Let's try something different. Get an extra body going forward. Mullen whips this one in. Taylor hits the bar. Havern knocks it clear. If we do not win this, it's going to be... Well, it's going to be proper depressing. Please tell me that's on side. Come on! Massive goal. Could possibly help me stay in a job. It's well worked. Mullen puts it across at Abbott. Abbott into the ram. Mulhern just lays it off for Taylor. And Taylor smashes it past the keeper with his left foot. His weaker foot. Could have fooled me. And now we don't know what to do. We're going to go balanced. We're going to lower the tempo. And we're going to start time wasting. I think that's what we're going to do. We're now, it is a case of managing the game. Like, they have not done anything, but <laughs> we've got to be so careful here. Mullen pops it forward. Mulhern nods it down. Taylor, back to the ramp. Played it through for Mulhern. Oh, I, and that right there is what has been our problem all season. When we've gotten those must score opportunity chances, into that space, we're not finishing our dinner. Mullen lifts this one in, Mulhern goes up, doesn't get it. Keith's going to drop deep. I think Keith's just better as a box box midfielder than the R roles I've been trying him in, to be honest. Going back to what we had originally had, um, you know, a role wise in midfield looks to be having a positive effect, but we are playing a team we expect to beat. Our next game's against Gateshead. That's going to be a completely different game. If we can come out with that game against Gateshead with a good XG and God forbid a win, then we know we've turned a corner. Curtis gets the header. Drops the Mulhern. I'd like to take Curtis off. I just don't trust him to keep his eye in, in the game. He's trying to take on Tate. It's whipped in. It's a free header. Good. Flatters. I keep forgetting Flappers is in goal. Oh, what a scare. Not that Dale's great, but Flappers. That is some ball from Flappers. Are you kidding me? If this ends in a goal, then I don't know what to do about Flappers and his nickname. Because I've made it up now. Oh my god, it almost did. It it hits the bar. It looked like it was tipped over, but it hit the bar. You might notice my hair is changing a lot. My hands are constantly in my hair right now. <laughs> this game. Blow up, ref. Blow up, right. We're going to man-manage the game. Not even man-manage I'm just going to manage the game. We get an away win. We get an away win and we played well. I know they're not a great team. 
I, I know that they are struggling this season. Through the core of the team, we played really well. We got to take regard be like I'm gonna over I'm gonna over over exaggerate case it was a great win because um Gates head is gonna be horrendous. The thing is, because it is so because so, we're in such a precarious position, we are gonna have to go game to game to game. None of this I'll come back in five games. We're literally playing all the games in front of you, so We'll see how that goes. He still thinks I'm getting, he says I'm going to get sacked. Come on. Centre back got man of the match. So that maybe says a bit more about the performance. Pretty happy with that. We finally got something. Um, It didn't change where we are at all. Oh, it didn't change where we are in the league at all. We are still, <laughs> we're still a fair bit off being in the playoff contention. Gateshead are second and on a roll. And we play them next. We've had a snafu. I stopped the recording to go um, to go bed. <laughs> I've come back, and then when I went to edit, I found out the uh, that we were missing the Gates Head game, um, and we're missing it because there's no audio. So it was there, but there's no audio. I'd show you the goal. I'd rather not relive it. J uh, James Curtis missed header. Easy header in. Painful. Very painful. <sighs> we've gone back to uh, what we've played at the start of the season. See if it can even get a positive. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. We've, we've not been good at the start of this, clearly. Yet, Mullen has stepped up and given us a chance. I'm going to go balance because clearly something's still fundamentally wrong with how I'm trying to ask them to play. At the start of the season, we were getting draws, weren't getting beat, and all of a sudden, we're getting beat everywhere. Um, it's been terrible. We need a win. If we don't win this game, I think I'm going to get fired. Um, what does one say when you're only 1-0 up? Demand more? I honestly don't know. Um, it feels like so much has fundamentally changed uh, between FMs, and that's, that's fine. That's something we want, but like... The idea that Geg and Press doesn't work it appears to be complete bullshit from what I'm seeing. And uh, if you don't press, um, you don't make a tackle. Now, this system was working at the start of the season because we, we, we press within it and we do occasionally get the ball back, which is <laughs> really useful. We've just got to know up. I mean, this is nonsense. It is really it is nonsense. Like, we've been so for so long and I've been trying not to press and, and wreck the player's stamina and now what I think I'll do is I'll just rotate and and play this style and hope for the best. Missed header, I do think crosses are complete nonsense. It might just be this level but nobody makes a f***ing header. We've got a 6 foot 7 centre back, he cannot head the ball. The, lo the low tempo shorter pass it for some reason <laughs> seems to work. We, we play narrow, we put focus play through the middle. I don't know. I I went away from it because we were talking in in the in the um in the chat the other day. Uh, looking at this, I don't think it should work. <laughs> but but at least we were drawing. I I kind of like toward the end. I I got fed up of getting draws. We changed it and we started getting losses. Um, maybe that was really stupid of me. Only time will tell. I mean, we still got plenty of time to blow this. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm not gonna lie, no way. Oh, man, I'm, it's offside. Oh, that would have been the best goal we've scored in a long time. A long time. <sighs> like the Gateshead game that you missed was truly awful. We were in the game. It felt like we're gonna a point would be all right, and then 68th minute, I think, the ball came in and James Curtis just. Just watched it go over his head, and the guy just tapped and nodded it in. Why? Like I, I'm honestly tempted to look back. If we hold on to any sort of win here, when you look back and go, why did you change it? Like why did we leave this? Like fundamentally, why was it just out of um, frustration? I moved right. We're gonna take off a uh, Glenn Taylor from Mulhern, and Mulhern will play as a pressing forward. I hate this confirmed changes. I keep forgetting to do it. It might be a big thing. We can't encourage praise. 
don't think we've praised this far after we've gone 2-0 up. Curtis at the back. This was another thing at the start of the season. Curtis seemed really good on the ball. And then that sort of went away. So maybe cautious as we're heading towards the point where they start scoring for fun. That's offside. That is offside. That is offside. I can see the flag. Oh my god. See, this is another thing. There, you When you ask them to play low line because they're slow, they literally, you never get an offside. Our keeper is... I don't know why they put the keeper animated in there because he's he doesn't do anything for us. Please, Mullen. If if I've ever needed you to score a second free kick in one game. Oh, oh I'm getting emotional. Fraser fing Mullen. I forgot I'd hit this, but we're hitting it for that one. Oh, it's beautiful. If you couldn't see it because of that, go back and watch it again and again. It, this doesn't make any sense. We've got to take Curtis off here because he's dying. But that's the only real reason. I think that's not all my subs. So we could do I can't explain. We have completely FM'd them. That doesn't even make sense. We were away from home, right? So I'm not going to complain about it. If we were at home, either way, we needed the win, but... Four shots on target, we've scored three. And we had a beautiful goal. Uh, this slide for offside. Don't know how to feel about that now. I was very happy, and now... And now I don't know, because that doesn't feel sustainable. Going back to what was working early doors... It worked here. That doesn't feel sustainable, does it? That'll do it for this episode. Uh, is that two wins in an episode, then? Technically, I mean, we, we lost in between the original second part of the episode, but I don't think we can complain. Uh, that'll be it for episode three. It's, it's a turn in form. It, it doesn't look sustainable. I think we're going to have to play this way and see how the next couple of games go on. We've actually got Witten Albion... Uh, in the build base FA Trophy second round, so that's good. Then we follow that up with Chester, who are 17th, Darlington 7th, and Blythe Spartans 22nd. So, plan would be Chester FC and Blythe Spartans because they feel like winnable games. Do So, do join me for episode 4, and uh, it'll be out later this week. So, schedule for YouTube that I'm planning to try and stick to right now. It's a fairly aggressive one. It'll be uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. We'll see if I can do it. Embrace the grind. Have a good week. <sighs> Mon the Moors? I, I fucking love Fraser Mullen.